Hey guys, this is Bacheva from The Kosher Twist. And today I'm gonna show you a dish that is very popular in my house that I prepare every Friday for Shabbat. Uh, savory salmon baked. This dish has been very popular for many years in the Northern Africa and uh, Middle Eastern culture. And they, it has a lot of variation to it. I'm just uh, preparing it in my own style, the kosher twist style, which I hope you're gonna like and find really easy to make. Okay, so what I use is uh, salmon, and I use it usually uh, this size, I think it's about two inch uh, slice uh, steaks. But what I do is I cut it in half because I don't like that it's too big of a portion. So from three steaks, you can actually make six pieces of fish. In my version, I use the sweet dry pepper. You're welcome to use uh, more spicy pepper if you crave the spiciness. And what else I need? I need fresh cilantro. I always get mine organic. And it's about, it's a small batch. It's not a huge batch. And I'm using um, about uh, five, uh, five to six garlic cloves, which I'm gonna place in the bottom. The other thing I use in my recipe is the garbanzo beans, which I'm gonna add at the end. I'm placing the uh, fish in the pan all the way around. You want to use a little deeper pan than usual because uh, there's going to be some liquids in it. So you don't want it to spill, of course. So once I place the fish inside the pan, as like this, what I do is I pour the garbanzo bean on top of it. I use one can of garbanzo beans and also that I buy an uh, organic one that doesn't have all kinds of stuff in it. I place the cilantro all the way on the top. I don't chop it or anything because I want to have a little piece of cilantro. So it's just like that on the top. And then I'm going to get ready for the spice paste that I'm going to pour all over the fish. So in a measuring cup, I'm putting one eight of a cup of the olive oil. So I'm using cumin that I freshly ground by myself in the magic bullet. The aroma is amazing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's gonna be half a, half a teaspoon of that. And I'm putting half a teaspoon of turmeric. and two, I mean one and a half, half teaspoons of paprika, sweet paprika. I'm using Himalayan salt, so there's gonna be about, about a teaspoon, one teaspoon of Himalayan salt. Mixing everything together to get like a, pasty texture out of it. So I'm gonna show you how it looks like. Moving on guys. So the paste that I made from all the spices, I'm going to, stirring it a little bit more, and I'm going to pour it all around the fish, just like that. So, Everything is gonna be covered. But that's not the end, guys. I'm just turning on the flame. First is gonna be on high. And whatever I have left here is not going to waste because I'm adding to it boiling water all the way to the top, basically. And now that I can hear it, I can hear the sound. So I'm adding the water all the way around as well and I'm checking 
So as far as the water goes, sometimes it's enough and sometimes I'm adding uh, about a quarter cup more, I would say. So I also add some drizzle of the pre on top. Now that it's boiling, I'm simmering, simmering it all the way to the lowest flame and covering it and let it stay like this for at least 20 minutes without touching it. Okay guys, so here we are 20 minutes after. There's some liquids in here that we're going to get rid of. Um, it's always better to start with more liquid than to have it dry. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing it with a tablespoon and I'm pouring it on top of the fish. So you let all the liquid evaporate a little bit for about uh, 20 minutes on a medium flame. Here you go guys. A picture of how I serve my fish. I decided to choose the roasted vegetables. I got some asparagus sweet potato, yellow potatoes, and balsamic vinegar roasted Brussels sprouts. Yum, yum, still in the season. So hope you enjoyed watching it. Make sure to subscribe. And until next time, stay healthy, stay safe. Bye-bye.